Good day everyone, today we're going to learn on how to make a survey questionnaire. First, let us have a research title. I have here a study entitled Effects of COVID-19 Pandemic Among Elderly. In making a survey questionnaire, you need to consider the two parts of it. And these are the demographic profile of the respondents and the itemized questions for your respondents. Under part 1, which is the profile of the respondents, the direction must state it clearly and easy to understand. In determining the different scale to be included under part 1, we need to make sure that the scale to be used has a significant connection, relationship, or relevant to your study. In this study, the effects of COVID-19 pandemic among elderly one of the main scale to be included must be the age, sex, male and female, religion, tribe, occupation, and among others. As a statistician, one way to treat this data is the use of the frequency and percentage distribution. Now let's proceed with the part two, which is the itemized questions where the researcher sought it as a gap, phenomenon, or problem for the respondents. In making the part 2, make it sure that you're going to use the Likert scale. In this study, the researcher used 5 scales, which 1 means strongly disagree, 2 means disagree, 3 means moderately agree, 4 means agree, 5 means strongly agree. Now, in determining the range when we treat this scale, we need to consider this formula. We have capital N minus 1 over capital N, where capital N means the total scale in the Likert scale. In this study, the total scale is 5. So, substitution, 5 minus 1 over 5. And the result is 0.80, which means this is the distance from each interval. So from 1 plus 0.80, it becomes 1 to 1.80. Then after 1.80, and that is 1.81, added by 0.80, we have now 2.60. And the same process, we're going to add each row by 0.80. So we have now 2.61 to 3.40. After 3.40 is 3.41, so 3.41 to 4.20, and 4.21 till reach 5.0, which is very, which very important range to be used when we do the treatment later. Now, as we try to observe and evaluate each items in this study the researcher able to categorize it by group in terms of aspects. So we have letter A on mental and emotional aspects, on physical and health aspects, on family aspect, on social aspects, on economic and material aspects, on and on religious aspect. So if we're going to do the part two, make it sure that each item must be grouped accordingly. And it so happened in this research, it was categorized or grouped in terms of aspect. Now, each item must be categorized according to group. So we're going to make it sure that each item belongs to its group. Example, if we try to have the on mental and emotional aspects, make it sure the items here must belong in this group. Read as, I felt alone, which is on mental and emotional aspects. I could not think well. I felt insecure of myself. I felt very sad for myself. I am worried about the future. I felt angry of the pandemic outbreak. So if we try to evaluate and assess all the items, it's really find out that it's belong to this group or category. Now let us have the letter B on physical and health aspects. 
I could not eat sufficiently. I could not sleep adequately. I could not drink plenty of suitable water. I could not have enough physical activities. I could not submit myself to health check up. I could not take my medicines regularly. So, again, make it sure that the items belong accordingly to its aspect or to its group. We have also the own family aspect. I am unable to personally see my family. I am unable to communicate with my family. I am unable to have a get together with my family. I am unable to spend enough time with my family. I am unable to receive needed help from my family. I am unable to celebrate special occasions with my family. The same as on social aspect, I am unable to see my friends. I am unable to go to public places. I am unable to interact with people. I am unable to attend social events. I am unable to go around to my community. I am unable to go to places I would like to go. We have also letter E. I lost my income. I lost my job or work. I lost my business or source of livelihood. I am unable to engage in productive activity. I cannot secure my basic needs such as a food and clothing. I cannot avail of modern technology like cell phones or computer. Lastly, on the religious aspect, I am unable to attend church services. I am unable to practice religious services. I am unable to observe religious devotions. I am unable to go to church or other religious places. I am unable to celebrate religious occasions. I am unable to contact our church leaders. Now again, if we try to evaluate and assess all items, it seems that they are constructed in a negative way because of the word unable. I could not. It sounds I lost negative. And I am unable is also negative. Therefore, if you formulate each item negatively, make it sure all the rest items must be also constructed negatively. So on the right part of this table, we found the scale. And this is what we call the Likert scale, which will determine the actual rate or scale for your respondents if they're going to encircle or check these boxes. So let's go back with the scale. So we know that one means strongly disagree. If one of the respondent check or encircle this, then he or she strongly disagree. The same as to the rest of the items. So this is how we create our own survey questionnaire. And take note, each item, as much as possible, must be anchored to your RRL or RRS so that whatever will be the result later, you will be supported by this RRL or RRS cited in your research. So, good day and God bless everyone.